Is Centerville, Ohio a safe place to live? You tell me. You tell me. That's why you're tuned into this video. And in this video, we're actually going to explore a few different websites to see if Centerville is actually a safe place for you and your family to live. And you're probably asking yourself, why doesn't he just tell us? And there's a reason why. It's because I can't. And um, as much as I'd love just to say, hey, Centerville is safe or Centerville is not safe. Well, I hope it's safe. Our governing body does not allow us to steer people in those types of directions. But what it does allow us to do is to show you the right resources for you to discover whether Centerville is a safe place to live on your own. So that's what we're going to do. I'll meet you inside. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living in Centerville, Ohio, make sure to hit that subscribe button, tap the little bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about the market here in Centerville. My name is Mike Wall. I am the team leader of the Love Ohio Living Team. We are the number one real estate resource on YouTube here in Dayton. And we get calls, emails, and texts from people just like you every single day looking to make the move to Centerville and the surrounding suburbs. We absolutely love it. So whether you're looking to make a move in the next nine days or 90 days, it does not matter. Give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or even schedule a Zoom call in the description below, and we'd be happy to help you make the smooth move to Centerville. All right, all right. So let's dig right in. And I know what you're all thinking. Most people tune into these videos uh, because safety obviously is a very important topic when searching for a place to live, right? It's probably one of the top one or two things we think of before ever to making decision about what area we're going to be raising a family uh, or sending our children to school or working in. And so I wanted to do this video for those folks who don't know a lot about the area, perhaps even relocating in from out of town, just to give you some context to help you make an educated decision about where you should live in our local area here because there's so many great places to choose from and hopefully this will help you make your decision oh thank god for that so with that being said um, what i wanted to do as i mentioned in the introduction of this video is just kind of show you around a little bit because you know we can't exactly say whether an area is safe to live or not but we can actually show you the perfect resources to um, research so that you can help make that decision for yourself. And I've been through all the websites on most of uh, the important data um, that comes to mind when you think about moving into a new area. And I want to share some of that with you. Uh, we don't have to waste a lot of time on the bad websites because I've already gone through them all. And hopefully this will just be um, a few minutes of uh, really good value to you in your area or suburb search. And so the first place I want to start is one of my favorite websites, um, especially as it relates to some other topics like schools. But niche.com has always been a great resource uh, for folks to uh, uh, do research on. And for me, it's probably my second or third favorite. But there are two questions that will kind of transition us into my favorite website. Uh, and I want to go over those real quick. So I'm going to share my screen with you for the next few minutes so you guys can look at what I'm looking at. And to do that, I just have to press a button here and show you what I'm seeing. And the first place we're going to go, as I mentioned before, is niche. And I really do like this particular subset of data here because um, it, it asks actual people, actual residents of the city of Centerville, uh, whether they think the city is safe or not. And um, I think that will provide some good context for you all doing your diligence here. So the first question they ask is how safe do you feel in this area, right? That's pretty important, right? When you walk outside, when you go to the grocery store, when you go to the bank, when you go anywhere, when you walk your dog, um, are, are you are you safe or do you feel safe? Are we safe? And 50% um, of the people polled said that they feel very safe this there is really no crime in in this area um, that's more like it and obviously that's what you want to hear right when you're when you're exploring what area to live in you want to feel very safe and certainly 50 percent of the people polled uh in the centerville area said that they do the the second question or excuse me the second um, response was 
they feel pretty safe. Uh, there is some crime, but it doesn't impact me much. And that's what 50% of, or the other half of the folks pulled in this um, poll said when asked if they felt safe in this area. So, you know, there's really no negative responses here. Uh, so most folks, I think the consensus is feel it pretty safe when, um, when living in Centerville. Wow, that's amazing. The second question was, how reliable are the police in this area? And 75% 70 uh, of people said the police are very visible and very responsive, right? That's really good. 75% of the people polled. Uh, and 17% of the people said the police are visible, but some uh, how respond slowly when needed. You know, not as bad, uh, um, not, not as good of a response, but not, it's not bad either. Uh, and then 8% of the people said the police aren't around much, but uh, they're, qu they're, uh, they're there quickly when you need them. Again, really important that, you know, it, it, that when you do have a problem or when trouble arises that the uh, local law enforcement is uh, responsive. And it sounds like for the most part that they are. So that's really all I wanted to show you on niche.com before I got into some of the specific data, uh, which we will uh, continue to next. And my favorite website, and again, I'll provide all these links for you in the description below. Make sure and check them out uh, for yourself. But this is um, probably my favorite resource because I love like really simple statistics. It just makes it really easy for those of us who perhaps aren't as intelligent. And I like scores. I like numbers, right? And so um, the total crime index, which is basically a score, says that uh, 40, that, that Centerville is safer than 47% of, uh, of all U.S. neighborhoods, which is obviously really good. Um, the number of crimes, uh, so they rank crimes by if they are violent or property crimes, right? And uh, violent crimes are obviously, you know, murders, rape, uh, robbery, right? And then property crimes are, you know, auto thefts and, and um, burglaries and things, car, uh, things being stolen out of your car, things of that nature. And so the number of violent crimes uh, over a 12 month period in Centerville was 15 and the number of property crimes uh, was 244 for a total of 259. And it, it gives you kind of a breakdown of the crime rate per 1000 residents. And as you can see for violent crimes, 0.61. So uber low, right? And 9.87 for, um, uh, for property crimes. Scrolling down here again, you know me, I, I'm a visual guy. You can see, I like that they compare Centerville to the rest of the state of Ohio. Um, Centerville 0.61, um, and, and, and this is kind of a visual uh, graph of the data that I just went over. Uh, so the violent uh, crime rate comparison per 1,000 residents, and you can see the, uh, the, the Ohio average is 3.36. So well below, well, well below the, um, the Ohio average. The uh, chances of becoming a victim of a violent crime are one in 1,649. Uh, and in Ohio, there are one in 297. Uh, Centerville violent crimes, and this is uh, broken down even further uh, by category. And uh, you can see the report total here for Centerville. There were zero murders, two rapes, and four robberies for a total, or, or excuse me, uh, and nine assaults. Uh, and again, you can see that rate per 1,000. I'm not going to go into that because, again, you can go back and visit this uh, for yourself if you if you want to get more detail. And you can see here, this is the United States violent crime rate um, compared to that of Centerville. And again, you can see that Centerville ranks well below the uh, United States uh, average. And you can see those statistics there, which, I'm, again, you can see hopefully visually here. I'm not going to read each one of them off to you because I don't want to waste your time. And I know you're smarter than that. Um, as you continue to scroll down, again, going into the property crime rate comparison per 1,000 residents, Centerville's was 9.87. Uh, and Ohio's was more than double that. So Centerville uh, uh, looks extremely well compared to the state of Ohio. The chances of becoming a victim of a property crime are one in 101 in Centerville and one in 54 in Ohio. So again, you know, about half versus the state of Ohio. Property crimes, 
Uh, they have those rated here by burglary, theft, and motor vehicle theft. And you can see the report total here. There were 17 burglaries in all of last year, 215 thefts and 12 motor vehicle thefts. So, you know, again, not much to speak of. This is also the com uh, comparison for the United States. You can see those burglary, theft, and motor vehicle totals there. I'm not going to read those off because I don't think you need that. Uh, and then the Senegal crimes per square mile. Not sure how relevant this really is, um, but you know it's kind of a nice, fun statistical fact. And then that actually is the end of the data that I wanted to show you here for the city of Centerville. And again, you know, this video is really for folks who don't know a lot about the area. I'm trying just to give you some, some raw data so that you can, again, just make that determination um, on your own, whether Centerville is worth exploring or not. Because, you know, I know if it were me and my family that I would do the research and, and I would try to put my family in as safe a spot as possible. We know that you know, some of those things that are important when making a decision about where you want to live, obviously safety, very, very high on the list, along with schools and, you know, available housing and uh, property values and things of that nature. So hopefully you got what you needed out of this video. If you would, um, leave me a comment in the comment section below and let me know what you thought of the video. Let me know if you think Centerville is a safe place for you and your family to live. And we'll see you on the next video. Remember, if this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living in Centerville, Ohio, or any of the surrounding suburbs, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Tap the little bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about the market here in Centerville. My name is Mike Wall. I am the team leader of the Love Ohio Living Team. We are the number one real estate resource here in Centerville, Ohio. When it comes to buying or selling a home, we get calls, emails, and texts from people just like you every single day looking to make the move to Centerville. We absolutely love it. So whether you're looking to make a move in the next nine days or 90 days, it doesn't really matter. Give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or even schedule a Zoom call in the description below. And we'd be happy to help you make the smooth move to Central. Thanks for watching.